Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. At today's workout, we're focusing on shoulders. Now, they have three parts to them, the anterior, the medial, and the posterior deltoid. So we're gonna hit all of those throughout this workout today. I'm also gonna add some active rest to give the shoulders a little bit of a break. Your format for this workout is going to be in rep range. I find that best when we're trying to isolate specific uh, muscle groups, okay? We'll repeat every exercise for three rounds. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. I'm also gonna use a bench or a box, something to sit on basically. Okay, if you have that, grab that. If not, I'll show you modification. Are you ready to move daily? Yes, you are, let's do it. Traditional strength on my watch. Let's start with a little circle here, single side circle. We'll get those shoulders nice and warmed up here. I love training shoulders. Did you notice? Switch directions. <laughs> I do, I do. I like the results. What can I say? <laughs> I do like those results. Switch sides. I like it to look like I work out. I don't know, but. <laughs> makes me happy when people are like, oh, do you lift weights? Um, yeah, I do. All right, let's hinge forward at the waist. Knees are soft. We're just gonna reach up here. Good chest stretch to that front shoulder and switch up. Then switch. One more here. Good. Let's round through the shoulders right here. Big circles. Reach back, get them up near your ears. Ooh, already a little burn there. And switch directions to the front. Good, arms out to the side. Let's go one behind the head, one behind the back. Just reach, stick your chest out. Just getting that ball and socket warmed up here. Click, click, click on my wrist. <laughs> so annoying. Doesn't hurt, but it's so gross sounding, isn't it? Ooh, that burns. Good, reach across right here. Squat and up and over. All right, let's go wide toes and open in the chest. One more here. Feet face the front and we'll squat and reach right here. Good, hands on the shoulders. Oh, feels good. <laughs> All right, let's finish off with this one here. Hands together, elbows together. Push up and down. We'll go for 10 right here and then we'll get started. Four more here. All right, excellent. Grab your dumbbells. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with a lawnmower. It's a diagonal squat. Elbow comes up and we sweep. You've got 12 per side. I've got a 12 pound dumbbell. Wide stance here and we drop and press. Two.
One more here. There's 12 and switching sides. Nice little squat here. Down and sweep. There's 12. Good, Whew, that warmed me up. Moving into a full range of motion or around the world lateral raise. I got my eights. Palms face here, up to the ceiling and down for 12. So you're up here and slow down. Four more for me. Last tier, stick the chest out. Good, and if you're experiencing any crunching, don't go right at the side, come slightly into the front. Reverse flies, I'll grab my tens, hinge at the waist, you've got 12. Nice flat back, rounded arms. Trapped and two. There's twelve. Now let's go into some active rest. We'll let the shoulders rest for a second. While you give me 20 frog squats, there's the low impact, here we go. Drop for 20. Halfway. Moving to my 15, do what's good for you, and 12. Drop it low. That was harder with the 15. All right, full range lateral with the eights again for me. Stick your chest out, knees are soft. Four more for me. See, I hit my leg on the side so I don't get any swing at the bottom. Oh, 
Last one. Whew. Nice. We're going to those tens from our reverse fly. Hinge forward, butt out, chest out. That was from Marsha, my member who has a tank top that she made with that saying on it. <sighs> There's 12. Frog squats for 20. Walk it out. Woo! That is good. <laughs> good. All right, round three. Wide stance. One more here and drop it low. There's 12, switching. Use your hips, pop them here. back, engage the abs. Only those side shoulders are working. Last here. Nice. Reverse flies. And hinge. Retract. one and drop. Now, if you don't have something to sit on, all of these can be done standing. 
So no worries. The benefit to sitting for some is that you can't use the lower body. There's no ability to, or right, keeps you more stationary. It's a little bit more challenging. We're starting with a single side shoulder press, military press. I'll start with my 15. You go lighter if you like. All right, nice and tall, 12 per side. And one. We're only coming to 90 on the elbow there. There's 12, switch your side. Nice and tall. There's 12. Good, go back to that original side. We're gonna do a rear delt row or bent over wide row. Uh, it targets a bit of your back, but it targets a lot of that rear delt or the back shoulder muscle. I'll stick with my 15. You've got 12 an arm. Prop yourself on something like this or your couch so that you're bent over. Here we go. You need to be in that bent over position in order to target that rear delt. Okay, unless you're doing like a a, pull, a cable row or face pull or a band face pull. Otherwise, we need to bend over here. There's nine, no swinging at the bottom. 11, 12. Very good. Switch sides. Back flat and up. Reminded me of this good exercise. Bent elbows, you're gonna come up here, we'll kick it out, bring it in and down. Shoulders back, here we go. Up, kick, and one. Halfway for me. Two more. Good. If you're finding that too challenging, just stick with that bent arm lateral without the kick out. All right, very good. Going into a um, snowboarder three hop. So you can snowboard, pivot, okay, for low impact. We're just gonna do 10 of these. Here we go, jump in here. And then one, two, three, and low. That's five. And 10. Okay, quick step. Back to your military single side. Whew. Heart rate's up. 12 aside, tall back. Here we go.
There's my 12, switching sides. There's 12. The mistake some people make is they pull it back and that's gonna hit more back muscles. You gotta pull it right out to the side to that 90, okay? Go lighter if you need to get the good form. Here we go, up to the side. And two. Here's your 12. <clears throat> Paula Quinn with my fives. I'm gonna go over here a little bit more. All right, stick your chest out, up, and kick in and down. Four more for me. Last one here. Nice. All right, let's go into the snowboard of three hop for 10. Jump in here. Twelve right there. Switch. Twelve. All right, let's go to that wide row. Hinge and lift. No swinging.
Nice, there's my 12. Switch sides. Okay, there we go. Poliquin. Named after Charles Poliquin, one of the founding strength coaches of our generation, really. Here we go. Up, kick, and down. And you can see why. This keeps more time under tension on that medial delt. It has to stay out there for so much longer. It burns. Which is why I'm using fives and not eights or tens. <laughs> There's six, halfway through. Last year. Mama. Woo, fire, fire. Let's finish off with the snowboard, snowboarders. Here we go. Exercise here. These are soft, we're coming up to that shape of a W. Squeeze or retract those shoulder blades. Here we go. Up, pause, and slow and controlled. Don't throw your hips forward. Last here. Now, if you want to increase the difficulty of that, hinge at the waist and pull it there. You're going to fight gravity as well. Palms up. Knees are soft for your front raise. And you're here. Stick your chest out. This 12, and I'll go right into my lateral raise with straight arms, sticking chest out. Here we go. Well, that's hard. All right, let's go into two knees. Boom, boom. Two frogs or two pulses. We'll do this for 10 as well. Let's kick it up. That's one.
Okay. Walk it out. Woo. Grab a quick sip. Okay. And back to the top. W's. Knees are soft. Core engaged. Squeeze those abs. Feeling those weird delts. Last here. All those shoulders. You can even let the dumbbells hang and just stretch up those neck muscles a little bit. Palms are up. Here we go. There's 12, Whew. good, good. All right, into those lateral raises. there. Front raises. A little softness in the elbow. these out.
There's my 12. Finishing with the cardio. Let's finish strong, folks. Here we go. Last one, three, two, one and done. Nice work, you move daily. And you fold the shoulder. You got them now? <laughs> Sculpt the shoulders, whoo. All right, smash the like button if you enjoyed the workout. Don't forget to be subscribed to this channel. Turn on the little bell at the bottom, over there somewhere. Okay, it'll notify you when a new workout is up. So that's handy, turn for a stretch. Let's stretch this out. I'm going to wall and then rotate away from the wall to open up into that front pec and anterior delt. Okay, that was good. That's the volume on a specific muscle group that's going to lead to adaptation and change, okay? So we do talk about that. If you've been with me for a while, you've heard me say <laughs> progressive overload a lot, but that's what it is. It's overloading your weights, your duration, your volume, your intensity, your speed, your cadence, like any of those things can give an overload that will cause the muscle to adapt and recruit more fibers and grow and change and create what we call that muscle synthesis. Okay. So, that's important foundation to understand that you need to be able to show up again tomorrow in order to keep the consistency and the volume throughout a given week. What happens sometimes is maybe we're new to fitness or we're just getting back or we think, oh, I'll lift as heavy as her because if she can do it, I can do it. But you haven't really been in the game as long maybe and you overdo it. Have you done it? <laughs> a little overtraining. I mean, I have as well so that I can't walk the next day or sit to go to the bathroom, and that's just horrible. Let's take the arm behind the back, pull this way, and tilt your neck the same way. So you're not winning when you miss. Now you've missed two to three workouts that week, so you don't have the volume. So how did you win? You didn't. So you're better off to lighten the weights and just go slower and get the volume in that you need and do that workout maybe at the end of the week again, switch sides, right? Bookend your week with something like this. This would be a fantastic workout to bookend your week with if you're really looking to sculpt shoulders. If you want that side shoulder pop, boom. This would be the one for sure. Um, yeah, I do love training shoulders. Again, you know that, let's come up. And so doing a workout like this, I would love to do twice a week, but I've got too many other things to film, so. <laughs> hey, I am sure, and you know this already, that I do fit in shoulders whenever I can in other workouts. So that's why I feel like I have sculpted, sculpted shoulders that my arms look like they're muscular because I do hit them multiple times in a given week. And that is the formula for hypertrophy. Muscle size increase. Oh, and then you gotta eat protein. That is what's gonna help. That's the second lever we pull. Resistance training is the first lever. lever. Protein is the second. Why does this feel so good? <laughs> All right, thanks for joining. It was great. Hey, lower body tomorrow. Click or tap there for some ideas and I'll see you in the next workout.